Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know if this is the last mission or what. It kind of has that feeling about it. The Mad King Duran Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Side quests, we're not bothering with those. I'll do those in my own time off screen now. And now we'll fo we'll focus solely on story missions. Hello. Take the shards, even if it means having a listen to Baha. You're not staying long. Very so. okay, well. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow. Whose will is light, and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty. Don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me. While there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Uh, right. Oh, this is annoying. Do these get story locked after a while? I don't know. Well, the Kestrels. Screw ah, it. Great. They want us to see this, savages. boy. It makes this is insane. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Oh, bloody, okay. Oh, I'm going down. 
Down, Aloy. A Aloy! Aloy! Down. Thank you. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. All right. Yeah, these are going to be story locked. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, and we are back. I have done as much as I'm able to do. I can't get all the power cells because I assume they're uh, either story locked or I've missed them or I just can't find them. I've uh, explored this area up here, can't really do anything with it so I'm assuming that's story related. And uh, the hunter trials are not really bothering with anyway so I've gone as far as I could possibly go. Literally not right now, I'm doing it now. It begins. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila. For her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. All right. Oh, Jesus. I understand. So by now, I... Um, what's happened? I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. All right. Let's get cracking. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. An incident, this morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Door is an immensely complicated project, but as the staff who serve on the front line were tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators, fluent in Polish, for example, 
security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, for example, and dermal sensors to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and faces at reception staff, for example. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. Mm -hmm. Uh, Research and Socrates require additional support managing uh, ZD, Zero Dawn candidates when they arrive at the facility. Many are frightened and confused, some are highly agitated. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators. The Lang bots are not sufficient, and mild sensitives for extreme cases. Any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these males. Oh! Was Zero Dawn like mass hibernation? Was that the goal? Like, try to save as much as humanity as possible. Take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller name. Yeah, they try to save as much of humanity as possible. Into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Dude, will you shut up? I'm theorizing here. Uh, they're trying to save as much of humanity as possible through uh, cryogenic freezing. Would it be possible to improve the sound preview between VR1 and the lounge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can plainly uh, be heard and candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. Uh, for the fifth time, please restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum because they're out of organic cucumber, mint or blackberry sage uh, varieties, I'm going to lose it. Please respond and this time no tempest in the teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Ooh, that person's at the end of their tether. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD and one data intact. Initiating playback. Alright, here we go. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, Cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. 
My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Well, that was bleak. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Let's go then. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Accurate, yes. So these mechanical... They don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, Doctor, uh, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Oh, he was pissed. Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the leak of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments to your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. Kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. Hmm. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since. Would you like to take a moment? No, no, no. I, I just. I really hope. We're too close to the trap. We could wait too long. Shut up. The data port. My work. What did they contain? Yeah. I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. 
Damn. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings change, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a... a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said... So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Again, no nobody say what it is. Oh, I'm not... No, no more reading. Tell me. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Yes, someone show me what Zero Dawn is. CBO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Cyan being one of them. AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. 
how Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Well, I was way off. of a feral robot and why does it want to kill me and apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that and hephaestus taking over cyan i'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead maybe a lot has gone wrong it seems Oh, there is another one. I mean, that's definitely one way to cheat the system, Intruder, I suppose. Get her. Whatever you do, don't die now. Thanks for the words of encouragement, uh, Silence. I hashed it out with them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. I see. Was it decided by committee? 
by algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in their auditorium. That we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history. An echo in the future. Not perish into oblivion. This opportunity. I must do this. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed Power's schooling down. them. Is they really the I went in too hard on this poor this counselor. Just she was cute. This. And just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? And no, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. What a delightful chap. Confidence, okay. Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Fair enough. Right, so how do I get up there then? Left down right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Hey, there we go. Fair enough. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Okay, up, left, down. It 
Up, left, down, right, up. No. Oh. What? Up, left, yeah. Down, right, up. Oh, wait, it's upside down. Right. Down. So down, left, up. Down, left, up, right, down. That did it. There we go. Now to see what lies beyond it. Hello, anyway, boys. How, how are they getting in here? Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Right, nothing else around here. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots, and not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulations, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. If Hephaestus was part of the system designed to save life, why would it use Cyan to make a culture and churn out machines with no other purpose than to kill people? Somehow it's gone rogue. I don't understand it. It has. And for now, I'm going to end this episode here. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'm for Sigma later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.